Hi everyone, Coralie here, co-founder of Yako Progress Bar, recording a tutorial for you to show you how to place the progress bar on your store without coding, without going into your themes code. So right here, I'm inside the app. In the customization section, I've created a progress bar with two goals. The first goal is free delivery that will be unlocked at 50 euro. And the second goal is free bini that will be unlocked at 100 euros. The next step after that, after creating your progress bar, is going to the next step here, template setup, where we explain to you how to place the progress bar on your store. This used to be the old way. It was, it was just um, consisting in clicking on copy to clipboard, to copy this HTML div and paste it wherever you want on your theme, in the card page, on the product page, etc. But now that Shopify released what we call theme app extensions, you don't need to do that anymore and you can just um, place the progress bar using your customizer. So that's what I'm going to show you right now. Without any line of code, we're going to place the progress bar wherever we want on the store. So here on my test store, I'm using the dawn theme made by Shopify, so the basic theme. Um, and let's say I want to place the progress bar on my product page right below the add to cart button. So for that, I would go to here on the left to product information. And because our app now has a theme app extension, you can find it in the add section part and in the add block part. So here, if I click on add block, I can see a section called apps and I can see Yakob program bar here. So I just have to click on it. You will see the um, progress bar appear on the right. And I just have to drag and drop it here below the buy buttons so that it can appear at the place where I want it to be. Perfect. I just have to save and that's it. The progress bar is added on my product page. Now, let's say I want to add it to, to the cart page. I just have to go here, click on cart, click on add section, Yako progress bar, so the same. And if I want it at the top of the cart page, I just have to drag and drop it here and save and that's it. This is how you can add the progress bar wherever you want on your store without needing to code. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to reach out over email or with the chat if you have any questions.